It's husband versus wife with me, Ryan Buds, facing my better half, Ashley Starling Buds, in 20 questions on Christmas and shopping malls. This is Trivia with Buds. Be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. It's me, your pal Ryan Buds, and I've got another great episode of the show for you. It's the second to the last uh, episode until the end of the year. We've got one more in 2017, and then we dive into 2018 strongly with some great episodes in the bank. So get ready for those just going down the line. If it's your first time listening to the show, you are in for a treat. We have a great episode today with me and my wife, which is, or I should say my wife and I as an English major, uh, which is a treat. I've had around once before for a uh, Dirty Dancing and Roadhouse uh, Patrick Swayze trivia off for Valentine's Day. And here we are again talking some holiday trivia. We got uh, 20 questions on Uh, Christmas and shopping malls, and we do a bunch of banter and fun things, talking about traditions in our house and uh, getting engaged around the holidays way back when, and all that good stuff. But before we get to that, we'll do some housekeeping and uh, tell you to rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes if you like this show. Help us get more eyes and ears on the program. I got a cool announcement coming up in a few weeks about becoming part of a bigger podcast network. So that will be very cool. And uh, again, all those rating and reviewing and subscribing efforts you make will uh, help spread the word about the show. Um, I have been doing a lot of fun stuff besides the show. I've been doing a lot of great holiday parties, a lot of great, uh, you know, like one-time trivia uh, events at different locations. And it's been a really busy holiday season. So if you listen to this show and you booked a party with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a ton of fun uh, going to these different bars and restaurants and offices and seeing people let loose for the holiday parties, which is great, especially if there's like a a bartender making drinks in an office. That's my favorite type of scenario because you know it's going to be off the chain pretty quick. Uh, So it's fun to be a part of those. And uh, I've been doing a lot of random work. I've been kind of submitting for different voiceovers and things. So I thought I would share one of those here today on the intro to the show. So this was one for something called Brook Farm, which I still don't really understand what it is. It was kind of vague. And all it gave me were these couple lines that I had to do. And it said it was looking for a rough, gruff Sam Elliott type voice. And as a fan of Roadhouse, I was like, oh, I should pay uh, homage to Sam Elliott and submit to this to to this uh, job. So here's my uh, submission tape for uh, Brook Farms voiceover uh, for this very mysterious farm. Let's take a listen. Have you heard the story of Brook Farm? It was built by profits from Brook Baking Powder. Within a few years, it became the finest horse racing farm in the country. Hollywood soon took notice, and what began as a small business for the passionate became a playground for the rich and famous. There it was. What did you guys think of my big audition? If I get this job, it pays $25, which is uh, pretty low as far as I know voiceover goes. But I like almost had to submit literally just because it said Sam Elliott type voice, and I wanted to try and have fun and do that. So that was my... Uh, audition for Brook Farm. Hopefully I get it. I'll let you guys know. And uh, if I if I get that 25 bucks, I will make sure to spread uh, spread the wealth. Okay. Uh, are you new to this show? Have you have you listened to it before? Do you listen to all the episodes? If you're if you're new to the show, I urge you to go back and look at some of the titles of episodes that kind of interest you and start there. And I think you'll become a fan pretty quick. One of my favorite ones of recent months is uh, the Brian Bonzel episode. Brian played uh, the youngest sibling on Family Ties. He was also Preston Waters from Blank Check. And he did a great episode against his brother, Victor Dematia, uh, who was in the Sandlot as uh, Timmy Timmons. And uh, we had the... Uh, the topics of punk rock music and video games on their episode. So definitely uh, check that one out. That's a very good episode to start with. Also, Kiss versus Kevin Smith Movies. So the band Kiss and Kevin Smith Movies. Another great recent episode with Jeff and Scott Toon, the host and co-hosts of uh, 
the Fully Posable Wrestling Figure Podcast. I plug them quite a bit. They're really good dudes, and they just hit episode 100 of their show. So shout out to the Toon Brothers and the Fully Posable Podcast. Congrats on making it to 100, guys. Uh, I'm so glad to know you and uh, glad to have you be part of my show as well. Uh, here is my quick spoiler-free Last Jedi review. If you haven't seen it, there are no spoilers in my review, uh, but I will tell you it is uh, just okay. That's my review. <laughs> I thought the movie was just okay. I saw it by myself. My wife uh, still breastfeeding, so she can't really leave the baby alone. Uh, he's a month old today as of this posting of this podcast. And uh, so I said, do you care if I go see it by myself with the movie pass? She goes, knock yourself out. She goes, do whatever you got to do, which was great. So uh, I went and saw it. I sat in a fully packed theater. Theater was not really into the movie. Um, I don't think the guy next to me moved at all. He may have been dead. Uh, but it was just, uh, I don't know, there was something about the movie that I thought was just okay. It wasn't, uh, didn't blow me away. I thought Force Awakens was really like, okay, here we go. This is a new cast of characters and lots of fun. And here we go. And uh, this one was just kind of like, all right, okay. See what you did there. Uh, all right. So that's my spoiler free review. Uh, I'd love your take on it. If you have a million reasons why you think it's the best one of all time, which I have seen people posting online, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. If you think this is the best Star Wars movie you've ever seen, you got to be losing your mind. Uh, but I would love to hear your uh, your bullet points on it. So hit me up, send me an email, or uh, engage with me on Twitter or something, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I have a store opening soon on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. Go there for all the trivia news and tidbits you can imagine. Uh, if you have a party you want to book, if you want to check my Yelp reviews, if you want to see what the topics are for this week's live events, go to TriviaWithBuds.com, and very soon you'll be able to click on Store and buy some really cool stuff. Everything on the store will be 20 bucks, free shipping. And uh, we got some great stuff like a bottle opener with a magnetic bottle cap catcher that is my logo, uh, wood burned onto it, which is really cool. I have a set of four coasters uh, with that same logo, wood burned onto them. They're very thick. They look really nice on a table, nice coffee table coasters, and uh, a bunch more stuff coming up soon. There's also going to be like uh, some headshot uh, promo sharknado type things if you like that and you're looking for some fun signature uh some from some fun signed photos for somebody you know that loves uh bad movies i'll have some sharknado stuff for you with uh custom messages on them available and uh, again that store will be open in january so be on the lookout for that and i think that is all the fun stuff out of the way we're going to dive into the meat of this episode which is me and my wife sitting down for about 30 or 40 minutes or so and we do some christmas trivia we do some shopping mall trivia it's tons of fun in the bud's house here we go sitting here in beautiful Laverne, California with uh, something else that's beautiful, and it's my wife. Aw. How are we doing? That was cute. That was nice, huh? That was. It's we, a good thing people can't see me right now. <laughs> <laughs> One of your boobs is out. <laughs> I'm covered in spit up. Add that I'm nursing. I'm yeah. not just sitting here with nah, a boob out. <laughs> yeah, she's just, yeah. I'm like, let's do a podcast. She was like, okay. <laughs> unhook bra. <laughs> and then I'm like, why'd you only unhook half of it? And you were like, isn't this sexy? And I was like, um, And who spit up would be on me? <laughs> Boy, hey, you're getting kind of crazy. <laughs> and that's the podcast. <laughs> Happy holidays from the Butts family. <laughs> we are sitting in this. So we're sitting in this dining booth uh, that we have in our house. It's like a, from a jazzy club, and uh, this is where we play a lot of board games, a lot of Scrabble back here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think two games of Scrabble. A lot of here. a lot of me playing Bananagrams by myself. Are you begging to play Scrabble back sure. here? So I do my crossword puzzles, my Sudoku's, and all my podcasts. puzzles, my podcast. <laughs> And my other puzzles. I have so many. I do my highlights, find a pictures in here. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff in the booth. This is uh, this is like our den. We keep, do we we call this the den, right? I call it the den. I think we kind of did that. Like, what I don't we? think California has dens, no. but I call it the den because <laughs> like, we're both a couple of assholes. <laughs> like, oh, well, let's retreat to the den or the study. The I study. Guess is something else we could. Say. I feel like if it's a study, someone has to be murdered with a lead pipe in here. No, I don't want that Let's to happen. Stick to Den. <laughs> yeah, Den is, Den is a little safer. Uh, you heard the sound of my beautiful son's voice. That's uh, Tommy Dalton Buds. He's eating food right now. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do this podcast. And it's the holidays. So and he's I, a month old. He's a month old today. So I yes. thought it would be really well, fun. Well, tomorrow. Well, 
Tuesday. Well, today, Tuesday. The 19th. Of December. Yes, mm-hmm. that day. <laughs> Six days before Christmas. And uh, this is this is kind of a fun one. This is our first Christmas uh, with two kids. And uh, it's our first Christmas where our first kid really knows what's going on. Yes. Because last year she kind of knew what was going on, but this year she's Not like, really. She didn't really talk last Christmas either. Yeah. And uh, isn't the movie Last Christmas starring Queen Latifah? <laughs> isn't there a movie called Last Christmas with her? I have no idea. Isn't there a song, Last Christmas? Gave you my heart. Very next day. You tore it apart. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> no. He gave it away. Oh, tore it apart's better. <laughs> oh, man. That, that re- your rendition of not knowing that was uh, very close to when you were <laughs> tried to pull a Seinfeld line on me and you were like, the jerk store called. Uh, you're missing, or what did you say? You, they they need. They ran out. They, Are they? They're looking they're for lo- you. <laughs> yeah, the jerk store called. They're looking for you. I was like, that is not the quote. <laughs> or what about our and Elf you, on the Shelf? Who we it? we we're doing Elf on the Shelf this year, so sure. to try and scare Annabelle into being good. <laughs> and uh, you set up a wrestling ring with action figures. So I wrote the note from. The oh elf. yeah, and it was like, get ready, get ready, who's ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, where did you get that from? And you're, no, no, it didn't even say that because that would have made sense. No, it kinda. said, let's get ready to rumble, or who's ready to rumble? And you were like, that's not, that's not wrestling. I was that's like, boxing. that's a boxing announcer, and then you had no idea. Yeah, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I don't know a lot of things like that. <laughs> I uh, that's my favorite part of our relationship is. Uh, uh, watching you flail through <laughs> pop culture references, which is thing. great that you asked me to do your pop culture trivia. Yeah, so <laughs> on I, can't, your podcast. I can't wait for some of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Hammerhands had a bush one time, and Vincent D'Onofrio oh, was his caretaker. God. You just get all the names wrong. Uh, I uh, thought it would be fun for us to talk about the holidays uh, as we get ready for the holidays here, and then do some holiday trivia. So we'll do some some back and forth stuff. You have some questions prepared for me. I do. A trivia hostess. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, your I question- didn't really have a choice. Yeah. I was like, you should do that. And then you did. Yeah. You're always just kind of standing around, you know. With your, right. Your, I don't really don't have, have any- much going on. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of spare time. <laughs> yep. Like right now, one kid's asleep. Remember yesterday? I, I could be asleep, but that would just be a waste of time. So let's do this. <laughs> I, was looking, I was looking at a scrapbook yesterday and I go, you should do these more often. And you're like, yeah, I'll just scrapbook with all the sp- scrapbooking time I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like me and my ant farm. I just never get to it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's really stupid. <laughs> And uh, you didn't even laugh what? at it for like no. 30 seconds. It wasn't no, a didn't. funny joke. <laughs> uh, remember that band Alien Ant Farm? They had a one hit. Yeah, and smooth, then it wasn't even criminal. theirs. It wasn't even their hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, you have 10 questions prepared for me of what the Christmas holiday variety? Yeah, just random Christmas stuff. Random Christmas stuff. And I have 10 questions for you about shopping malls. There's I would have done time. it all history, but I know you shit over that so i didn't i threw in some pop culture stuff for you very good uh the only chamberlain i know is wilt chamberlain i don't know what that is <laughs> okay he had sex with a few ladies uh twenty thousand. the that's what he said do you think that's possible that's a lot of women mm-hmm a twenty thousand is they did the math. It's like three point seven a day or something. For Shut like, up. Yeah, for like a certain amount of time. It was oh, it was what insane a amount. Slut. That's right? a lot. Mm-hmm. I uh, uh, I have questions for you about uh, shopping malls because mm-hmm. it's we're getting closer to Christmas here, closer to the end of the holidays. Mm-hmm. But there's still time to shop, so maybe mm-hmm. people are out there and they're in the mall and they uh, know some trivia about malls. So I thought mm-hmm. that'd be kind of fun. Okay. So we'll do some shopping trivia. We'll do some uh, some Christmas trivia. Christmas is kind of important in our house because uh, we are Christians. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the end. Well, I'm not laughing because like no, that's yeah. a joke. It's just right. It, I just your face it. and yeah. just we. Uh, <laughs> one of our kids is baptized. The other one not yet. <laughs> the other one's barely a month old. We're right. like not even to the hour mark of him being a month old yet. Yeah. Well, there's still time. Uh, did they do home? Like, did they have like an Uber for baptisms where you just call somebody on an app and they come over and do it real quick? I don't think so. Well, there is a market for it because, uh, I think we can make it happen. Mm, Let's look into it. Mm -hmm. Speed baptisms. Our first kid's baptized in two churches. Two churches. Blessed and baptized or something. Oh, she's in the Mormon church. Mm -hmm. Is that considered a baptism? 
No, you don't get baptized in Mormon church until you're eight. Sure. She, when do you get the magical? She received a blessing. When do you get the magical underpants? We, you would have to be Mormon, and we'd have to be married in the church. Do you actually get pants? I was kidding. <laughs> what do you? Did you not hear what I said? No, <laughs> I heard the magical underpants. Yeah, I said, when do you get the magical underpants? And you said you have to be in the church. I'm like, wait, you actually get underpants? Yeah, you're talking about like the man, like the garments that they wear, like in South Park. But, that, but you actually get to wear them? Oh yes. Yeah. I thought it was like he wore them. I didn't know that. No, the, the women wear them the too. Church. Women do too. But you have to be married, and you get married in the temple, and it's supposed <clears> to be like a, it's a, um, like a modesty thing. Like you're not supposed to show those. So like the mm. women's are very like longer sleeves and higher on the chest. And I like, don't feel bad that I I'm never going to have them because I already have a pair of magical underpants. They say Joe Boxer and they have hearts on them and you bought them for me in 2005. And why are they magical? Because they're still alive. Yeah, because they're, they're <laughs> so, not disintegrated. How many years later? I don't know. 12 years later? Those are going to outlive years? Kmart where you bought them though, for sure. This Valentine's Day will be 13 years. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, those are going to last longer than Kmart, for sure. Mm-hmm. And I still, whenever you see... I'm pretty see, sure the Kmart I purchased them from is no longer is standing. Is rubble, yeah. <laughs> but uh, whenever you see me in those, you're like, oh, I should probably do laundry. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yep, that's, those are the last that's pair. That's how I know those that my, it's time to do laundry. Those are my very last pair. Because <laughs> uh, I, I also have a lot of free time for that, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of a shitty statement. Whenever you see me in those underwear, you know it's time to do laundry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> some of us host the trivia, some of us do the laundry, and some of us and breastfeed some of us the pop kids. out babies. Yeah, yeah. Some of us, yeah. And breastfeed the babies and pop them out and wipe their butts and put <laughs> but them to bed. Ash, I have to make a few PowerPoints. Right. <laughs> right. I feel like all of those are things I do. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for sitting down with me. This is fun. We, this is the most we've talked in uh, three a years. <laughs> three or four years. No. Since we had the kid, first kid. No. That's not <clears throat> true. I've done the podcast with you. That's true. That was probably the last time we, we actually had a nice chat. <laughs> it's not true. You haven't been re- responding to my aims. Because no, your aim, pokes. Because your Facebook pokes. aim no longer exists. <laughs> I think might be the problem. They, they took it down. And your Facebook uh, pokes are just creepy. They are just creepy. Yeah. Also, my pokes when you're sleeping, when I'm just like, wake oh, up. <laughs> no, what are you doing? I meant with my <laughs> finger. Not with, you, you're making it a penis thing. <laughs> so inappropriate. Yeah. Especially for Christmas. Sure. Well, you know what's the best part about our relationship? People know we've had sex at least twice. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Chamberlain, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, let's talk about um, uh, a very important Christmas in our relationship was when we got engaged. Yeah. 2009. 10? What year was that? Uh, nine. We were living with my parents to, save, to save money. Or did we, we didn't do that? Did yeah. We, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we were saving money for something. What were we saving money for? Because I thought we would have been saving for a wedding. But we we already lived with my parents when we got engaged. We had, we moved in with them, yes. Mm-hmm. And we had a little dog named Carver who's still around. Yes. And that year, I remember we bought him boots and he refused to wear them. Yes. <laughs> he wouldn't put his feet down when we put them on him because there was so much snow. Yeah, that was in Chicago. hilarious. We we had we had everything we owned from our like a two bedroom apartment in one bedroom at my mom and dad's house, and uh, we went to. Uh, and the garage like the, the garage, garage had our yeah. couches and stuff in it and we went downtown chicago and i took you there uh after work and we went to the willis tower it was a AKA terrifying day driving Sears there. Tower. it was all uh sleet, sleet. yeah and gross. Sleet and gross and the uh, sears tower almost wasn't even open and uh, mm-hmm. i was freaking no out no one was there so there's like one person up there like one guy taking pictures with his daughter of nothing because it was so cloudy when with the elevator open we couldn't even see the skyline at all like it was just a we thought like, it was a wall in it front of like us, a gray but painted it's actually wall. a window but that looks window. out to the city yeah and uh we walked around there and i had this whole plan to kneel uh down um get down on one knee on the glass uh what do they call that the ledge the ledge yeah so it was like a glass box over the city it was supposed to be really scary and it, w- <laughs> it worked out really scary. what worked out really good is <laughs> it was so cloudy it didn't it wasn't as scary because you couldn't see down <laughs> so, it was still creepy but yes so i gave you a book with a story about rings or something what was it um no it was a book but it had a story about us that you put in it but you put it over a story called two rings We're called two rings and then uh i gave you the ring on the ledge and mm-hmm. you couldn't believe it and mm-hmm. i said will you marry me and you said really and i yeah, said I yeah <laughs> and you said really and i was like yeah 
And then you're like, okay. <laughs> I know. Then you said, did you ask my dad? Then you said, okay. That yeah. was the sequence of events. Yeah. But that was cool because it was right around the holidays. And then we videotaped. Think about this, how long ago it was before we could just tape on our cell phone super easily. Because we brought a camcorder and we put that on our dashboard and we taped us calling, calling people. people to tell them we got engaged. Like I your sister that. and my sister and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then we and went our out. parents. And, and then stuff. we went out. Yeah. We went out for champagne. And dinner. And dinner. And then we went home and it was just crazy to be like, we're engaged and we live at my mom's house, you know, <laughs> but that, and was, that a, was also the Christmas. Yeah. Um, so that was like my best Christmas present. I Obviously, got you engagement ring. Got your engagement ring. It was um, really special. And then you got me a nice wrapped what? Ninja Turtle Snuggie. Ninja Turtle Snuggie. <laughs> <laughs> what an even trade that was. And uh, I think you won. I did. Okay. You also bought me a Scruff McGruff shirt, which is one of my favorite that t-shirts of all year? time. Yeah. Oh my God. That thing has seen better days. That thing is in the Joe Boxer realm. Or so oh no, that's barely worse. That's apart. barely getting. That's not you know what's last. weird about that, that shirt? Has a thousand holes in it. It's got like cigarette burns in it, which is <laughs> you weird. You don't smoke. I don't. <laughs> and that shirt's supposed to like of all shirts, it's like you shouldn't that's be funny. smoking in that shirt. Right. That's funny. Yeah. So uh, that was a fun Christmas, and then we had Christmas Eve at my mom and dad's house, and like everybody came over, and you're showing off the ring, and well, it was fun. just a good time. Uh huh. Christmas time in the buds. And then house. we came to Always California for New Year's that year. Came to California, told your whole family, showed them everything. And uh, now we live here. And now this Christmas Eve, we're going to your grandma's house, which is the, I would say, the coziest place on the planet. Right? I would agree. She's got, what, six Christmas trees? Yeah, there's they're like not a, all going to be up. I think there's two or three up. She's like one in every room There's sometimes. like a thousand uh, nutcrackers up. Sure. They and let Annabelle put them all up. Yeah. And, and they also let her decorate the tree, which you haven't seen. Yeah. Which means when you have a three-year-old decorate the tree. Yeah. There's about five ornaments on one branch. <laughs> like a, a Pringles can and then like all this other stuff. But yeah, uh, that should be a good time. So I'm looking forward to that because that's like one of those places where like <clears throat> if we if we got snowed in at that house, it wouldn't it would be like the best. You know what I mean? You just yes. have everything you need there. Except it's Fontana, California. So it, that's never not going to happen. Yeah. yeah, we're never getting snowed in, in post apocalyptic sense. If there were zombies and things, it'd be nice to be there. Why would zombies have to do with snow? I got off the snow. You told me to get off the snow. So I was saying in another scenario. Oh, understood. If you were locked in the house. Or Got it. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Like a blast from the past situation. Did you ever see that with Christopher Walken and Brendan Fraser and Alicia Silverstone? Where they like live underground in a certain time period? I think so. And then they come out and it's modern. I forget who, I forget if she comes out or he comes out. I forget what the storyline is, but Christopher Walken's the dad and he keeps the son or the daughter uh, under wraps. Because he doesn't want to expose them to the world or something like that? Something. Sounds very familiar. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in that situation, your got grandma's it. house would be great. <laughs> got it. All right. I'm glad we got that straightened out. Uh, okay. So we got some fun Christmas background. We got what we're doing this year. And uh, I think we should dive into some trivia before Tommy Dalton uh, spits up some milk here. Let's so let's uh, let's dive in. Let's have you ask the very first question. Let's see if you can stump me. Are you going to give me any kind of uh, clues? No. Or am I just, uh, we're just doing a trivia showdown one I might one give on one? you some clues. All right. We'll this is, uh, let's let's do a little intro here. This is uh, holiday trivia versus shopping mall trivia. This is the trivia showdown. Trivia showdown. All right. So we're going to go back and forth. You ask me a question, I'll ask you one, and we'll BS in between. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right. Let's go. All right. Um, okay. So we'll start with a question about my favorite Christmas movie. Okay. What year did Christmas Story come out? <laughs> What year did the Christmas story come out? Uh, I have two guesses in my head. I think it's either... uh, I think it's either 1980 or 1983. And I don't know why, but I'm going to go with final answer, 1983. Ooh, correct. Am I right? You are right. That's one point on the board for old RB. Do we actually keep score? Oh, yeah. Especially for this one. So write down one. And then a heart with my name, R.B., my initials. No. You just drew a penis and a middle finger. (laughs) All right. Question number one for you. It's about shopping malls, as we talked about. So this is kind of a nice shopping little round. You're a shopper. (laughs) Women be shopping. (laughs) Women be shopping. (laughs) With all my free time. (laughs) My scrapbooking and my shopping. You always always say to me that I'm more of a shopper. You are a very big shopper. What does that mean? That you like to go shopping. Every time you go to the store, you come home with something. Mm, I don't know if that's true. But every time you go to the store, you come home with three things. For the kids, not myself. You're shopping yeah. for yourself. How about that? Is that is that make me bad? 
<laughs> Should I be buying things with the kids? I always buy surprises for Annabelle. Candy. Yeah. What else do kids want? <laughs> See, you're. Oh, you. Ask I, the I question. think. I think. <laughs> I think. Short, Come on, ask the, Stick to the trivia. I, <laughs> <laughs> heckled at my own house <laughs> i uh i stick to the short-term gift like that. yes i know like, and then you you're stick like to the sucker and yeah. then you give it to her she gets riled up and then you leave and i'm yeah. stuck with the sugar after but you'll but you like here's your your thing you'll be like i think we should sign her up for a series of uh, uh cards that come in the mail about science projects and i'm like let's just give her a sucker <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> you're always thinking long term for some yes. kind of little treat yeah <laughs> All right. Here's number one for you. In what mall store can you add a heartbeat to your new toy creation? <gasps> I just did this. Build a bear. You did? Yeah. For who? For these two. For our two little babies. Mom and I just did this. Mom, Annabelle got to pick out what she wanted to give Tommy for Christmas. And Tommy. Why don't I know about Tommy, it? You didn't tell in me. In parentheses, picked out what he wants to give Annabelle for Christmas. And they each got each other little build a bears. And they come with birth certificates that say, this was made by Tommy. So does she know? Does Annabelle know? Yeah, she was there. She picked them out. She helped make them. They do a really cute thing where it's like you hold the heart and it's like you put it to your forehead to give your animal wisdom and then you kiss it to make them sweet and you do this and that. It's cute. Sure. And then they put a little heartbeat. Well, you can put sound in it and they ask, they're like, do you want a heartbeat? And I was like, absolutely not. Do you want a song in it? Nope. Make it as quiet as possible. It's just a stuffed animal. Do not put any sounds in it at all. Um, I got each of our kids a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that this is another case of the long term mm-hmm. versus short term gift. Um, when was it like, so when did you do that? And how come you never told me? Uh, the other day when we went to the mall and I did tell you, you just have a habit of not listening. <laughs> I feel like you didn't tell me because it's they're each are sixty five dollars. I didn't pay for them. Mom did. Mm-hmm. They are gifts from Granny. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Build a bill, as in bum, bum. <laughs> going to debt over some bears with heartbeats. No, they were actually on sale though, but they are really pricey. You can go in and pick out like a whole outfit. It's kind of insane. The store's a little bit nuts. Okay. Well, you got that one right. In yeah. con- conclusion, you got it. Yeah. Okay, one to one. I get a mark <laughs> under my initials. All right. All right. Uh, here we go. One yeah. of my other holiday favorites. Uh-huh. What's my favorite holiday? This isn't your trivia question, but what's oh. my favorite holiday drink? Uh, eggnog. Gross. Yeah. What country is said to have created eggnog? The worst country, whatever it is. <laughs> the, the grossest, <laughs> sickest country. I don't know. Eggnog is disgusting. Where did eggnog originate from? Denmark. That's your trivia question. That's your answer, final answer? No, because you looked like I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> eggnog in some country. It's got to be one of those... Uh, like Asshole countries? One of those like I'm wooden shoe countries. Or is there only That's one of those? Sweden. That's only one. <laughs> I feel like they all wear wooden shoes. No. Or is that uh, Denmark? Denmark? Sweden. I don't know. Who wears wooden shoes? As a trivia host, I don't know much. I know. (laughs) Someone asked me something about a mammal the other day, and I was like, What's a mammal? I I have to go. (laughs) Uh, Okay, let's see here. We have um, uh, egg nog, and it's got eggs as well as nog in it. Lots of nog. Lots of nog. I'm going to say the country that invented egg nog is Russia. Final answer? Yes. England. England. I feel like I've heard that before. Sometimes they're assholes. I get it. All right. Makes sense. (laughs) No points there. Question number two. On December 31st, 2012, what mall beverage store was acquired by Starbucks? Tivana. Tivana, our favorite store to not actually ever pay for. (laughs) Yes, just just get samples. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. They currently have a like white chocolate peppermint something. It's phenomenal. I like it. I just walk by like 10 times and keep getting samples. In your different disguises. With your mustache and your top hat and all that stuff? Well, if I just walk up nursing the baby and it's a guy, they're just so distracted they don't pay attention to my face anyway. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just Is that kidding. true? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick your some guy's face. ass from Tivana. <laughs> no, it's not true. I don't get 10 samples. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You got that one. Question two for me. What do you got? Uh, the question three for you. Oh, yeah. All right. So back to Christmas story. What are the neighbor's names? Like they have the dogs that come in and eat mm. the turkey. What does the dad call them? They are the Bumpuses. Yes. That's Those correct. damn Bumpus dogs. Bump, is it like Bumpus or Bumpkiss? Bump it's bump- Bumpus. Bumpus. Yeah. Bumpus dogs. 
I like that. Bumpuses. There you go. Christmas Story. It's going to be on TBS 24-7, so we'll probably watch that at Marmee's, your oh, grandma's yeah. house. Yeah. And then we have it on Blu-ray, and then we have Christmas Story Monopoly. Yeah. Which is the only way I can ever get you to play Monopoly. Yes. <laughs> What is the uh, boardwalk space? Is it the Red Rider BB gun? I think, I think so, yeah. There you go. And it's the um, the store. Is the park place? I think so. Mm-hmm. Question number three for you, Shopping Mall Trivia. What is the name of Hot Topic's discount currency that's up for use during certain earning periods? Every time you buy something there, they're like, here, here's your whatever. Don't yeah. forget to use it during this whatever. Your hot, Topic it's, bucks? Your it's Hot Bucks? Hot Topic discount currency. Hot Bucks final answer? <laughs> Thinking it over. It's kind of a tough, tough question. I don't remember what they're called. Hot cash. Mm, stupid. Hot I was close. cash. Okay. You were close. All right. Um, when did NORAD start tracking Santa? The Like what year? Mm-hmm. If, or get decade. I'll let you do decade if you want to do decade. NORAD? What does NORAD stand for? North American Aerospace Defense Command. Mm, so they're tracking Santa. And by tracking Santa, that just means they make up a little route and say that that's well, what's happening. Well, it's so, okay, so they were like that defense command. They watch the skies, basically. It's aerospace. Sure. So, but when they're saying, okay, here's Santa's route, we're tracking Yeah, him, but you can listen to it. it. Yeah, you can listen to it. And it's like, all right, he's over Russia, he starts here, and then... He's, oh my God, he's drunk. He's throwing no. bottles out of the sleigh. No, but they just tell where he is and how like how he's progressing and stuff. You never listened to that as a kid or watched it? No, but you just gave me a clue because it has at least been around since the 80s then. <laughs> I'm going to say the 80s. That's your final answer? Yes. 1955. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Cool, huh? No, yeah, I never did that. I don't really. I, I, I barely, all the time. I barely even know what you're talking about. Oh, of. I used to listen to it, and then they had like a thing on the TV where <clears> they did it for a while. And now I think when I was reading this, I think it said like Google now does it. Like Google Maps now has like a Santa tracker. This on is it. this is a weird time to tell you this, but I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I never never thought to tell you until now. You're like I don't know anything about. I this. have no idea. What's Christmas? <laughs> yeah, no, not one thing. Uh, here's question number. Uh, four, what Swedish, the Swedes are back, what Swedish name department store translates to North River? <gasps> Nordstrom Rack. I gave it to you. It was just Nordstrom. Mm, I was mm-hmm. close. Racks, they're like all outlet or right. whatever, rip off. That's where we shop. <laughs> yeah. That's where I get all my uh, Jenko jeans. Right. And large, uh, large, like uh, jersey style shirts. And your extra large vests. Extra, oh, so many vests there. So many. So many vests, so many shady limited brand clothes, which is M&M's clothing line, and so many Tony Hawk uh, brand mm-hmm. clothes there. All right, question five for you. Um, let's see. What is this Saturday, like coming up, which is like actually the last Saturday before Christmas? What's that called? Like, so like it's Black mm. Friday after Thanksgiving. What is the last Saturday before Christmas called? Is it like uh, douche Saturday? Like everybody make sure to douche. It's the last Saturday before Christmas. Something like that. Um, is it douche related? Sure. No. Except I'm pretty sure it's not douche. It's not douche. Okay, let's see. Uh, is it a holiday? No, it's not a holiday. It's to do with shopping. Like how Black Friday is all shopping. I mean, it's Black Friday doesn't imply shopping, but that's a big shopping day. So it's the last Saturday before Christmas. And it's like the closest day to Black Friday, like shopping wise, dollar wise, like people wise. Is it like Psycho Saturday or something? Close. Well, that'd Psychotic be funny. Saturday. Super Saturday. Super Saturday. I feel like I've never heard of that. Do you I ever go know. out on Super Saturday? No, absolutely not. Went no. out last Saturday. It was terrible. Did you have any encounters? No, I just wanted to murder everybody. <laughs> Can I say that? No. Just kidding. That wasn't a real threat. <laughs> I had that one. No, the uh, drivers were terrible. Everyone's just insane. I had that uh, uh, That lady yelled at me because I cut in front of her at the self-checkout line. Well, you kind of are an asshole. But she was so mad about it, even though there were two self-checkouts open. She goes, no, that's fine. Just go and That guy just went in front of me, like real loud. And I go, what's the problem? There's two lanes open. And she's like, you still cut in front of me. And I'm like, I'm already done with my transaction. And I said, happy holidays. And she goes, why don't you mind your own business? And I was like, well, you're the one yelling at me. Hater. All right. What's my So mad. That ruined, my, that ruined my whole week. I know it did. 
Uh, but then I love talking about it. I know. I post it on Facebook. I know. Oh, What's my question? I love encounters. <laughs> Number five. What store's founder said everybody either went to college or follows a college or professional sports team? Likewise, everybody has $20. A hat is clearly an impulse buy, but one that people can afford. Doesn't he sound douchey if that's how he actually talks? I was talks? just going to say that's a terrible guy. Um, I don't like when people say likewise in like a real sentence. Likewise. The mer. hat store? I don't know. Who the hell? Come on. I just bought a new hat tonight. Yeah, I don't know what the hat store is called. Well, hats off. Hats off? I don't you think know. there's a store called hats off? There should be. It's clever. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. All I would sell is like Dr. Seuss hats, <laughs> magician hats. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Lids. L I D S. That one. Yep. That's what I was. That's In what your I said. head, lids was hats off. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number six. Do How? we have a score? Do we still have a score going? Yeah, it's two to, two to one. Okay. No, I got a bunch. I stopped keeping track of my, my own. Sure. I had a bunch of them. All right. Um, so I have no idea what the score is. How many gifts would you get if you got all the gifts from 12 Days of Christmas? Somebody just told me this yesterday they're like oh so and so did the math and it's a thousand no it's not math. uh so it's basically uh oh this actually i can use the power of trivia to answer this question so in the ranking system on the confidence round it's out of 55 oh, and that's sorry, one baby. plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus ten is 55 so 55 plus 11 is 66 Plus 12 is uh, 78. So is that right? (laughs) (laughs) Is that your answer? Yeah. No. Oh, come on. Because think about it. On the first day of Christmas, you get a partridge and pear tree. The second mm-hmm. day of Christmas, you get another partridge in a pear tree and two turtle doves. Um, so, this, so by the so, time oh, no, you get to I, day I, no, 12... I, now I get it. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So by the time you get to day 12, you've actually received 12 partridge in a pear trees. Which is stupid. 11 sets of two turtle doves. But why do you? Why is that? Why doesn't it just include the first gift? No Because it's buying. not. It, he, they, it's the, the song says, on the first day of Christmas, I got this. On the second day of Christmas, I got this, this, and this. I guess you're right, but that's I so, am right. that's so silly. Would you like to know the answer? No, who would know this? Like off the top of their head, three hundred and sixty-four. <laughs> oh come on, <laughs> mine made sense, kind of. It did, but it was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, no sense was made. Question number six: The Santa in Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street is okay. a Santa at what department store? Macy's. Good job. How'd you know that one? Have you seen that movie a lot? No, I've never seen it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Maybe once. Have you ever seen the movie Christmas in Connecticut? No. I know my it's mom, one of your family favorites. No, nah, it's not one of my favorites. <laughs> but my, you know, my, my mom never made you go like, Ashley, sit down and watch this. No. When we lived there? No. Uh, it's a real, it's, they get snowed in, in Connecticut, just like at your grandma's house at in Christmas? Fontana. Mm-hmm. And it's Christmas as well in Connecticut. Oh. Yes. Can you believe it? <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Somebody kisses somebody on the cheek and it's over. Oh, great. <laughs> That's basically Sounds it. Sounds awesome. But this guy, uh, there's a real funny chef named Felix, and somebody at one point flips a pancake onto the ceiling and it sticks, and then later it falls off. Real classic, like 40s style humor. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, that might be the third. No, that's that's probably the 40s. But it is. It's a it's an entertaining movie. I watched it a million times. My mom, my mom would make me watch stuff like that, and then like figure skating, like so many lame ass things that I hate now. I love figure skating. I know. I hate it. I like it. I can't wait to see I Tanya though. That looks great. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Um. Okay. Since you've been obsessed with the Grinch lately, yes. Fill in the blank. The Grinch is as cuddly as a crocodile. No, garlic. Something about that. Those are, those are both lyrics, but they're not the right ones. His, his soul the is... The f- is as cuddly as a... Uh, porcupine. Close. A uh, hedgehog with spikes on it. <laughs> cactus. Cuddly as a cactus? Cuddly as a cactus. Mm. So I'm wrong? <laughs> He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, you're way wrong. It was cactus. That's the answer. Do you know how long the pole is the narrator wouldn't touch him with? A 10 foot pole? 39 and a half foot pole. 39 and a half feet. Hmm, that would have been a good question. That would have been. You uh, would have known. What are the three words that describe? What are the three words the narrator. Stink, stunk, and stink? 
Stink, stank, stunk. Oh, it's close. He's a real dick to him. I know. I actually don't. I think the narrator's worse than the Grinch. I know. Number eight. No, number seven. Shopping mall trivia. In what state would you find the Mall of America? We were there one time. Oh, we've been there. Minnesota. Minnesota. Final answer? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. We bought beer, che- beer cheese there, and then you left that out in the counter. Remember that? Yes, I do. Ruined remember. it. We were there for a week. Ruined it. That was a fun trip, though. It was. We had a good time. Clean a city. Remember, we agreed? Yes, it was Clean a city we've ever been in, Twin Cities. And then uh, we stayed at a Radisson Inn, I think. It was on the outskirts no of the mall. Idea. It was like in the mall parking lot. Remember? Yeah, that? it was in it was the weird. parking lot, like across from the mall. We got a good rate. Uh, that was kind of a fun. We worked with Jesse Campbell. We became friends with Jesse. Remember? Yes, that's where I met her. There you go. Shout out to Jesse Campbell. Number eight uh, coming up for you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is your favorite Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. So what's it going to be about? I don't know. What's my favorite Christmas movie? I don't know really what you think it is. Christmas Vacation. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I have a lot of favorites. I don't know if that's my favorite favorite. What? It's like my family's favorite. I don't know if it's my personal favorite. <sighs> what two adjectives does Frank Shirley's wife describe use to describe Eddie? The, who's and Frank Shirley? What are you talking Frank about? Frank Shirley's wife, the boss. So like when, because Eddie kidnaps him. So she like gives a description of him. This is the most out- Ready? random ass question. Ready? Here's your options. It's multiple choice. Relax. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Creeping me out. Oh, is that mom waving yeah, through the glass? Yeah, waving, but it scared the bejesus out of me. Why the was glass. she wearing a scream mask? <laughs> what is on her face? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of right. want to see if she actually has something on her face. All right, so here's your options. Yeah. Tall and smelly, drunk and ugly, bulging and beastly, or inbred and hammered. <laughs> the- these are the words the wife uses to describe Cousin Eddie when she kidnaps the when husband. When he kidnaps him. Yeah, when he kidnaps him. Read him again. Tall and smelly. Drunk and ugly. Bulging and beastly. Or inbred and hammered. I think it's bulging and beastly. You are correct. Okay. That is the most random possible question <laughs> you could have asked about the Christmas vacation. <laughs> I don't even know how you found that. There's no way you knew that shit. Absolutely not. Number eight. What store is represented by a man dressed as a referee? Nike. You go to the shopping mall. What store is represented by a man dressed as a ref? Mm, I have no idea. You can't think of this one. Come on. The ref store. It's been around for a long time. I can see it in my head, but I have no idea what it is. The answer is... Foot Locker. Come on. Oh, well done. Foot Locker. Question number nine. What do you got? Um, what film was the highest grossing of 1990 and earned a Guinness World Record as the highest gross live action comedy ever domestically? Home Alone. Yes. Mm-hmm. See how quick I knew that one? Yeah, that was really fast. Only because it was 1990 and I think I remember it set records. Mm. A lot of people saw that movie. I saw that in theaters, probably. My mom took me to see number two in theaters, for sure. Chicago Ridge, Illinois. 1991 or two, whatever that was. Number nine, what does the store FYE stand for? Oh, man. For your entertainment. It does. How'd you know that? Oh, I don't know. I pulled that out of my ass, though. I've got a few FYE exclusive pop vinyls over there. A couple wrestling ones. Of course. Seth Rollins and all white. Mm Mm-hmm. Number 10. We're on the last question. Can you believe it? I'm sad. I'm sad, too. I'll My see turn? you next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what Harry Potter actor made his film debut in a Christmas movie? Harry Potter actor? There's a million Harry Potter actors. But one made their film <clears throat> debut in a Christmas movie. Rupert Grint. Oh, wait, no. Alan Rickman Die Hard is the villain. There you uh, go. Ah, that's a good question. There you go. I like it. Very good. That's Thanks. a good way to end. Thanks. Uh, but I, I have one. Sure but I have that. one more shit question for you. So we'll, right, we'll end with it. that. Uh, number ten for shopping malls. What kind of merchandise would you find at Zales? Jewelry. You got it. My Christmas present. My stocking stuffer. <laughs> 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 I got you a pink ring. <laughs> Annabelle will not. I'm like, what do you want for Christmas? Every day I ask her, she goes, a pink ring. Mm-hmm. Why does she want that? I don't know, but she's been asking for it for about two months now. If we don't get her one, she's going to lose it. Oh, yeah. She better have a pink <laughs> ring. If we don't have a pink ring, we are the worst parents in the world, and Santa is going to be dead to her. Oh, boy. 
Well, we'll have to call uh, no no rad and see if they'll drop one off. Is it no rad? <laughs> 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 All right. This has been a hoot and a holler. Did you have a good time? The baby was really quiet. He was. He's very nasally. So uh, signing off for Tommy Dalton Buds. Oh, there he is. He signed <laughs> off for himself. His first podcast. Ash, I love you. Thank, thanks for doing the show. You're sweet. I love you. And uh, we're going to have a good Christmas, huh? Yes. Are you done? I thought we were doing a thing. Oh, yeah. I guess we should, huh? What well, are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do a round two, a, a categories with buds? Yeah. Let's do one of those real quick. Wait, let's try and let's try and do this together first. Let's try and think of a combo question that combines uh, shopping malls and Christmas in some way. Combo question. Can you think of one more final question? Well, there's got to be a movie that takes place in a mall. Ooh, jingle all the way. There you go. That's it. There's That's another the question. question. <laughs> what movie? What movie has Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad? <laughs> jingle all the way. That was a good combo question. All right. And uh, for our category, we're just going to name Christmas movies. We'll just go back and forth until we can't think of any more. Ready? Categories with buds. Okay. I'll do the first one. Die Hard. Bad Santa. Bad Santa 2. Christmas Story. Miracle on 34th Street. Christmas in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> what else did we talk Jingle about? Jingle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> love Actually. Uh, love Blackshley. No. <laughs> that's that's got to be a movie, right? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say the other Christmas movie, Christmas Story. I just said Christmas Story. You did? Yeah. That means you've won. Damn straight I did. Do we have a lot more? There's probably a lot more Christmas I'm movies. I'm sure there's a lot more. You know what my next one was going to be? What? Medea's Family Christmas. Oh. It's got to be a movie, right? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called Boo still for some reason. That's weird. Didn't even make the effort to change the title. Uh, well, this has been fun. Thanks for doing it with me. And um, if you want to hear some more me versus you action, uh, check out our bedroom any oh, weeknight. God, no, no. Okay. The baby's laughing at you. <laughs> Check out uh, the episode. It's Dirty Dancing and uh, Roadhouse Trivia, the Patrick Swayze Valentine's episode from last Valentine's Day. We'll have to top Which that. Which is his. nice that you talked about Roadhouse. Yeah. Because that's where Dalton comes from. Dalton, Tommy Dalton. Uh, pain don't hurt. Be nice. And we didn't know I was pregnant yet. We sh- Yeah, we didn't. Last time, you mean? Uh, if that was around Valentine's Day, we didn't know yeah. yet. We should put uh, a big thing over his crib that says, be nice. Wouldn't that be cool? That's his, nice. that's always one rule. Be yeah, nice be until nice. it's time to not be nice. <laughs> yeah. And pain don't hurt. And that's going to be his motto. That That'll was my motto good. when I gave birth. We had the VHS on the windowsill while you were pushing. Pain don't hurt. Pain don't hurt. And then he roundhouse kicked out of your womb. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> yeah, you were there. Uh, all right. Well, uh, this has been fun. And we'll, yeah, we'll have to top that. We'll have to do some sort of uh, one-on-one again for Valentine's Day. And uh, Well, you thanks. know it's going to be just another Patrick Swayze. We'll have to pick that something That would be else. cool. Two more Patrick Swayze movies. That'd be good. Uh, love you, wife. Love you. And, Merry Christmas. Uh, oh, well, you should plug your stuff, what you do. Oh. If people want to buy some holiday gifts, if they're doing some last minute shopping and they don't want to go to the mall for Super Saturday. Yeah, they can come shop with us online, LuLaRoe with Buds and More, come buy some comfy clothes. What kind of clothes do you got on there, uh, wife? Uh, leggings and shirts and dresses. There's kids stuff. Um, we've got a couple jean jackets with some like nice um, like hand done embroidery. I'm looking to complete a denim tuxedo. Can you help me out? Not with the bottom half. I like could a, give you a nice jean jacket for the top. Mm-hmm, like a real Canadian tuxedo type thing. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. Lularoa Buds and More and uh, my better half signing off. Bye. Bye. <laughs>my marriage still intact with old Ashley Starling Buds. Thanks to the wife for taking uh, some time out of her busy life of doing 99% of the parenting to be on the podcast today. Super excited for the holidays with her and I uh, couldn't imagine having them with anybody else. So thanks, hon, for stopping by. Uh, we got one more episode before the end of the year, everybody. It's going to be a good one. It is with a pro wrestler and a rapper. There's your little teaser, a pro wrestler and a rapper on a nice Skype episode. Coming up next week, don't miss that one. We do some uh, trivia on 90s cartoons and Will Ferrell movies with my friends Breaker and Bane from the Breaker and Bane 
Power Hour podcast. So look out for that. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, everybody. This is the last episode before Christmas. It's coming up this weekend. And uh, I hope you have a great one. Hope you get nice and toasty and have some uh, some nice fireplace drinks, some drinks by a fireplace of some kind. Maybe you have a real fireplace. Maybe you have one of those ones you plug in. Maybe you just put the fireplace screensaver on Netflix. That's good too. Whatever you're doing, be safe, have fun, and know that uh, whatever you get uh, done being hungover, you can subscribe back and check to the uh, check out the Trivia with Buds podcast for your next episode and uh, to get you through the day. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Rate, review, and subscribe to the show. And again, have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.